Hey guys, in today's video, I will show you how to install Xamp. So without any further ado, let's get into it. First, open your browser and type Xamp download and hit enter. You will get the official site of Apache. Then click on download Xamp. When you click on that, you will redirect you to the official site of Apache friends. Here you can see the available version of Xamp for Windows. So, in order to download the latest version of Xamp, you need to simply click on the download button, it will go to start automatically. You can see that our Xamp has started downloading. Now, in my download directory, the latest version of Xamp is downloaded. Then run it as administrator. Our installation wizard is opened, then simply click next. These are all thing that going to be installed, just simply click next. This is the Xamp folder location in our C drive, click next. The default language is English, you can change in my case, I keep the default language and click next. Now it is ready to install, so click next. Our installation is beginning, it may take 3 to 4 minutes. Now you can see our Xamp is installed, so click on finish button. Then open our Xamp control panel here, we need to start two things, one is Apache, the other is MySQL. I am going to show you a simple PHP program and how to run it in our browser. In order to do that, you need to start Apache and MySQL. Then go to C drive and you get Xamp folder, open it. Here it is the important folder, which is hdocs, open it. Let's create new folder, name it as PHP example. goes inside this folder and create new text document. Open it and write your PHP code. Then go to file save as name it as welcome.php and save it. Then go to your browser and open new tab and type here localhost slash and give that folder name we created previously PHP example then hit enter, you can see we have welcome.php file that is written on this folder. Then click on welcome.php, you can get the output welcome to php. So, as you see, we can easily install the latest version of Xamp. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.